One year ago, this adventure started in the waters of the Caribbean Sea, fighting against the rest of Poseidon just to find the treasure map, which was in the last bars in the middle of the nothing. The treasure map had a big eagle and firework symbols. After a long time, I was wondering what did I have to do to find the treasure. Right now, this is the moment to remember all the experiences lived along this adventure. In the forest, in the sea, and in the desert. Long time no see, Dr. Jones. It is a great pleasure to me to be in front of you again. Please take a seat. Thank you very much. And tell me, how is this mission? I can think this over, right? You're right, man. The mission is over after thousands of amazing adventures. <laughs> sure, I can wait to hear them. Everything started trying to find a treasure in the Caribbean Sea. Nonetheless, I couldn't find anything there after 78 days. But fortunately, I found a key on a very weird map. But to be honest, I could not understand anything in that moment. That map said where five places look like five stars marking the north, and near to the sun as white as the snow. To continue with the mission, I went to the astronomy center where my best friend, the Professor Chalice. I explained it to him what I found, and he told me the next words. Hmm, very interesting, Dr. Jones. The five stars marking the north. Indeed, there is a constellation called the Cassiopeia. It is easily recognizable due to its distinctive double shape formed by five bright stars. And you will have to search about the meaning of the names of these stars. They can be some kind of clues to find the treasure. After that, I went where Abir, the Arabic girl, and she explained to me the meaning of that names. Those are Arabic words. For example, beta, it's a hand, it's a cuff which means hands. And alpha is a sadr, which means chest. And delta is a rukba, which means a knee. And the other words which sign and toss in, they are not Arabic words. Um, what is the relationship between the constellation and the treasure map? Actually, I have no idea about it, and it's your job, Mr. Jones. You have to figure it out and looking for that. After that, I decided to continue finding the meaning of the other names. I found that C means the weave, and Sigan the flying corridor. Okay, this is interesting. But how do you find the right place to find the treasure? That is the best part of all. Because after some days of found an amazing and weird relationship between the stars and the possible place, I can find something else. Um, this place is where in New Mexico, which were connected in a, in a distinctive double shape. It was very exciting when I could notice that, because I could find sun as well as the snow, just like the map showed it. But you're a genius. You're the Dr. Jones. Congrats, man. I wouldn't expect any less from you. Sure, that was a crazy heaven to me. It was being the worthiest thing I have ever done. But when that happened, I decided to start an next adventure in the Isle West. The adventure started on June 8. The sunny day was my company along the road to the flying corridor. It was the first challenge to see the truth of my fate to a wonderful view seat. From that place, I could see the Rajput and see my next destinations. After that, 
The Scruces, or Rock Pass, was the second place to find some clue, but during the mission. During the mission there, oh, in the mountains, my partner was murdered by the famous felon called the Crepuses. The sun as white as the snow was found in the white sands or in the tea. There, I found a silver shell that helped me to find the correct place to find the treasure. Did you explain that? The brightest star in Cassiopeia is Sadia, in other words, Carcinet Caverns. That cave was in the top of the mountains. The only risk was the thousands of bats over there, but fortunately, I could be there in a very easy way. I found the treasure dead, and that's wall history. Very interesting, Dr. Jones. Really, really interesting. But right now, this is the best part of the story, because I will kill you. Are you for real? Yes. The only guy capable to do what you did is yourself. I used you to get the treasure, so from this moment I will not need you again. <laughs> I have come for the dead thousand times before. I don't have fear. And believe me, whatever you do, you will not have the treasure. Because earlier I traveled to New Mexico, I had uh, a meeting with Miss Croft, another agent, and I give her the key. She told me about your malicious plans and about the creepishes. And the treasure, the treasure is not here. <laughs> so sorry. You will die! Yeah, 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 but I don't have much time. Maybe later. I just want to tell you something before you go to my country. I don't care if the mist try to freeze me, if I am in the middle of the darkness, in the waters of the Caribbean Sea, fighting to get the rest of Poseidon. I don't care to claim my face after those dangerous moments. This treasure was the perfect excuse to see beyond the appearances and find a constellation in the desert. But now, another adventure lies ahead. I need to go back, to be in front of the owner of the treasure because she has the key to see the things I don't need. So, the redness continued, the north wind be my wife. Wherever I am going, you know, the gods are on my side. <laughs> <laughs>